So it's been quite some time since we talked about Patrick Mahomes' brother Jackson and his wife Brittany, and I do have to give them some credit because they remained mostly silent all season this year, and I believe that allowed Patrick to really take center stage and win the Super Bowl with the help of a little yellow flag. Hang on, there's a penalty! Look guys, I hate the Eagles with all my heart, but seeing an epic Super Bowl end on that type of call was like letting the air out of a hot balloon mid-flight. Either way, Patrick broke the league MVP curse and the dancing TikTok brother curse all in one season. I'm serious when I say that I believe all of that off the field drama was really affecting his on the field play at times because Jackson and his wife were being more annoying than any other family we had seen in NFL history. Patrick likely had to sit them down during the off season and explain to them that he is Batman, not them. They're just the Joker and the Penguin. And when it comes to this dynamic duo, this was really the only horrible moment that we got from them all year. I still cannot believe that this man is Jackson's father. You got a cigar on your own, I see. Yeah, I'm smoking the Joe Burrow. You smoking on the Joe Burrow. I'm smoking on the Joe Burrow. Hey, it was Joe Burrow last week. It's Philly it was, Blunt this it was, week. It's Philly this week. It's Philly Blunt. But hey, he was an MLB pitcher in the 90s when that coca was at its peak. Either way, I bring them up today because recently comedians Shane Gillis and Mark Norman went on the Joe Rogan podcast. And they had some comments for Jackson and mainly Patrick's wife, Brittany. Whew. How about that Mahomes? He's good. You know what I like, though? I, like, I came around on Jackson. Jackson Mahomes. Who's that? Fan. The brother? His brother that does TikToks and his wife, his annoying wife that screams. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everyone hates on them and it actually makes me happy. It Patrick Mahomes has a wife that's just wild. She's up in the box. She's like, films herself. It's her and his brother. His brother does like TikToks. And Patrick's obviously, he's the man. And then he's got a crazy wife and a brother up in the box, like, doing all this <laughs> shit. And his wife's up there like, you thought you were going to beat us? Take again. It's the best. Oh, yeah, she's a lot. She's a Whoa, lot. Whoa, Jesus. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> Problem is they keep that same energy yeah. when you get divorced. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they come after now. you. Yeah. They come after you with that same yeah. energy. <laughs> now I feel conflicted about this. Mainly because these two have, at the very least, made their antics way less public. I mean, don't get me wrong, they have done a ton of stuff in the past that warrants both cringe and criticism. But at the same time, my thought is that once Patrick said that shit was over, it was over. That boy Jackson was about this close to getting cut off that Mahomes family fortune. He was about to be dancing his ass all the way to the unemployment line with his 6 foot 7 frame. Like my guy, the Lakers need you. Joe Rogan's comment in particular though was the most interesting to me. Problem is they keep that same energy yeah. when you get divorced. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they they come after now. you. Yeah. They come after you with that same yeah. energy. <laughs> <laughs> because he's insinuating that somewhere in the future there will be some sort of divorce between Patty and his wife. And this obviously made Brittany upset because she tweeted out something about grown men talking about someone's wife is real weird. Followed up with, actually grown men hating on women in general is pathetic. Which I think if it's adult on adult slander, it's all fair game. Women come at men all the time. Men come at women. Some men come at other men. Not that there's anything wrong with that. And of course you had a lot of the alpha brain individuals defending Joe Rogan here. And a lot of Kansas City fans defending the Mahomes family. And I get it. If a dude came in and took my team to three Super Bowls, winning two of them, I would defend him with my life as well. I mean, I will say, she was always just being a supportive wife in the most annoying way possible. Like, it doesn't get more annoying than this. Alright, maybe Joe was on to something. But seriously though, when it comes to Jackson, he was legitimately being a terrible person, trying to gain clout off of his brother's coattails. Like especially when he danced on Sean Taylor's memorial. That was just downright disgraceful. But like I said, I have less of a horse in this race than you guys would probably think, because Mahomes and the refs 
shut everyone the f*** up. So shout out to them, and shout out to Rogan too, because why not? Let me know what you guys think about his comments down below. Do you really think a divorce is in the future? Do you think that Jackson will ever dance again? Because you guys know, these two are gonna be cocky as hell after Patrick won another Super Bowl, so they might go back to these antics. Let me know in the comments. As always, I do want to thank you guys for watching today's video, dropping a like and subscribing. Sorry that my voice is way off, I've been sick the last couple of days, and it's been killing me to not be able to record, okay? I'm like Squidward in that one meme, just watching everyone else upload. Either way, it's Benny Boy the Sick Superman, and some other news out here needs to be covered, so I'm out. Peace!